this here is the sphere. I've put a generator onto it here, which is just a piece of wire. But it will rotate right around the sphere. In other words, it generates the sphere. So it's attached to the very top and the bottom. And when I take it off, that's what it looks like there. It's actually, it's actually a semicircle. Now, if I put the semicircle in the electric drill and rotate it, you can see what I mean. The sphere is being generated as the semicircle is rotated. And that's your semicircle there. Now, this is the sphere introduction. This is the drawing here. So the sphere is always a circle no matter what way we turn it. So what I've done here, I've drawn the plan looking directly down on it. So that's the plan looking directly down on top of the sphere. I've drawn the circle that represents the outside of the sphere. So that circle there represents the outside of the sphere. So when you look directly down on top of it, you see that elastic band there, it's a green band, but that re is represented by the red line. That red line I've drawn there is a view of the green elastic band. Up in the elevation here, and when I look at it in this direction here, this is the way it will look here. So the green elastic band is what we're looking at here. So this green line here is a horizontal line. It appears as a straight line. So that line there represents the plan. That's the plan there. And the elevation of it is this horizontal line here. Now I've drawn a black line representing the white elastic band. So when we are looking directly at the front of it here, that black line on the drawing is the white elastic band on the sphere. So when we look directly down on top of it now, that white elastic band now appears as a straight line. It's a straight line, a horizontal line. So this line is in black because it's the plan of this circle here, which we have in black. If I choose a point now on that black circle there, the plan of point P now, I just draw, project point P down to the plan. Because it's on that black line there, it will be on this black line here. So that there is the plan of point P. If I choose another point now on the red circle here, I call it point A. That's on the red circle. The elevation we get by projecting up point A. And of course that's it there. It's on the red line. Now to draw the end view, we draw down at 45 degrees. Bring the center point across to meet the 45 degree line and return it up vertically. And then draw a horizontal line across from the center of the elevation. And where those two lines meet, that gets the center for the end view. And we'll draw that in now in a different color. Now that's it drawn in there. I've drawn it in orange. Looking at across here, 
we have drawn this orange circle here. Now to explain that I put another elastic band on the sphere and that blue line now when we look directly down on it is that orange line there. So looking directly down on it it's a straight line, a vertical line. So looking at the end view then, the blue elastic band here on the sphere will be seen as a circle and that's that orange circle there. So that orange line there is the end view of that line. We just mark a point B there. To get that point there, it's on the bottom of the sphere when we look down on it. So project point B down to the 45 degree line and then draw it horizontally across to intersect with the orange line. So that point B brought across there, that gets you point B in the plan. That's the plan of point B. Now to get point B in the elevation. Point B will be directly above here. So draw it vertically up. So it's on that line someplace. Now to get it, we draw across from the end view. So where those two lines meet, that gets you the elevation of point B. So we have B now in one, two, three positions. We have only A in the elevation and plan. We need to find A in the end view. So we bring A across here, it's going to be on that line, and bring it across to meet the 45 degree line in plan. And draw vertically then to the end view. And where those two lines meet, so we follow A across here and across in the elevation. And where those two meet, that gets you the end view of point A. Now point P is in the elevation and the plan here. So we just do the same again. And we find point P in the end view. That's point P. That's the sphere introduction complete.